Okay, everyone other than us, us being us, me and a few other people, uh, identifies Western civilization with Chris Christendom. And the best current work of our civilization comes from South Korea. I guess he's talking about, uh, talking about uh, technology and automobiles and things like that. Isn't it time to switch to human civilization or just civilization? Yeah, I mean, civilization is good. The, the only thing is you want to differentiate it. You want, because there have been lots of civilizations in history. Western civilization does not refer to where that civilization is thriving today. Indeed, in many respects, Western civilization is doing better in Asia than it is in, in Europe and the United States. It's in decline in Europe and the United States. Western civilization relates, in my view, to two ideas, individualism and, well, and respect for reason. And, and as a consequence of that, a respect for markets, so a market economy. So those three aspects, reason, individualism, capitalism, or markets, those are the three. And I call it Western civilization because it refers to a time and a place where this civilization was born. And then I articulate what I mean by that. And I, often when I talk about Western civilization, I say, well, but that includes anybody who adopts these values. And I know that people, um, people associate with Christendom, but in my view, one of the most important battles that those of us who are fighting for civilization must fight and must win is to divorce civilization from Christianity, to show the world that Western civilization, the founding of America, is not a product of Christendom, but a product of the Enlightenment, of the Enlightenment values, of Enlightenment ideas, of Enlightenment thinkers, and that they were primarily dominantly secular, and that the key idea of the Enlightenment is in its alternative name. The Enlightenment is also called the Age of Reason. So if we're going to fight for civilization, one of the only ways we can do that, one of the only ways we can do that, is by separating the idea of Western civilization from Christianity. And I don't believe we should give up on that fight. I think it's an important fight. And I think it's important for the Koreans and for the Japanese and for some of the Chinese and whoever is adopting Western civilization to know what they're adopting. That is to identify the characteristics of, 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 that they are taking from the West, that they're adopting from the West. Isn't it cultural ex expropriation? Ooh, I think, we should, I think we should go after the Koreans and the Chinese and all these people for, for, I mean, it's our culture. Wait a minute, it's ours, right? We, you know, Europeans, you know, the cultural expropriation now, if you, if you get dressed up like a, like, I don't know, like an Indian or you get dressed up as a, um, or you eat, if you're, if you're European and you eat Japanese food, you're expropriating their culture or you do fusion, and there's the, the left is like completely nuts and crazy and infantile about this. But they never talk about it in reverse. They never talk about the values other cultures take from the West, which is the dominant cultural so-called expropriation. But no, so I, I'm all for keeping Western civilization and identifying it as an 18th century phenomena, as a product of the Enlightenment, as a product that starts with, the, with Aquinas and the Renaissance and the rediscovery, really its roots are in Greece and the Greek identification of reason and individualism. Um, that's what makes it so, and, and teaching that and talking about that. And I think Western civilization is not a shortcut for that, and we must fight the battle to separate it from the idea of Christianity. All right.